It's here! This is the Earth Pulse Point! Nothing but open water as far as the eye can see. Is your Earth Pulse Point down below? Oh... Uh... Most of this world is covered by ocean. So of course there'd be a lot of Earth Pulse Points in the deep sea. But surely even the Abbey would have a hard time containing a Therian underwater, right? Looks like this one's a bust then. Sorry, everyone. Hold on. We've seen a bug Therian. You don't think there could be fish as well? You may have a point. I think I have just a solution for this. You do? This. What? what? Don't give me that look. I'll have you know this is Fujibayashi's rod. This baby's nine feet long, made from a single piece of the finest bamboo aged five years, with a slow 60-40 action that almost feels alive when it bends. Its exquisitely wrapped handle feels like an extension of your own arm. And just look at that elegant black lacquer finish. It's as perfect a fishing rod as there can be. I'm... I'm sure it's a lovely fishing pole, but... Fishing? Are you sure? This is Aetherian we're talking about. All the more reason. Remember who you travel with. Uh, okay? Alright, if no one else will, I'm going to veto this fishing idea. Ah, oh, come on, let's give it a shot. Besides, I'm hungry. Even if all we catch is fish, at least we'll have dinner. Mm, I'd love to have me some koi or sockeye salmon. Don't encourage them. How do you attach the hook to the line? Like... this? <laughs> you don't go fishing much, do you? It's just been a while. I used to go fishing with my brother sometimes. This is my first time. Then we can try it together. I'll teach you how it's done. I didn't know you could fish, Eleanor. Yeah, when I was little, old man Tenny taught me. He was from my village. I've caught at least a hundred tree at loaches over the years. Wow! That's a lot of fish! Those two really get along. If I didn't know better, I'd think she's his sister, not his vessel. Eleanor certainly got Lafayette's number. Better watch out, Velvet, or she'll steal him away. Lafayette. Let's get the line set up properly. First, you take it and thread it through the hook, like so. That looks hard. Hey. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it with your eyes shut. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Luffy! Huh? You mean me? Oh, um, I was just... Be careful there. Wouldn't want you falling into the water or anything. I'm not a little kid, you know. It's just that Luffy fell in once. A long time ago. Luffy? You mean your younger brother? That's right. You reminded me of him is all. If you say so. Is that all you wanted to say to me? Yeah, that's it. Okay then. I'm going back to fishing with Eleanor. Mm -mm. People aren't as easily swapped in and out as fish hooks, are they? Is that supposed to mean something? Oh, Velvet! Uh, you gotta get it a lot tighter than that. Here, let me take a look at it. Huh? Oh, uh... All right. <sighs> Can I have my rod back now? Hey, don't rush me here. If I don't get this squared away now, it'll just cause you trouble later. I appreciate the effort and all, but do you seriously think we'll actually catch a Therian here? Beats me, but the first mate hasn't met a fish he can't catch. Huh. Aizen's really that accomplished of a fisherman? <laughs> Old man Tenny sounds like he was a real goofball. Definitely. He used to say the weirdest things while we'd be fishing just to make me laugh. Like what? Oh, it was all nonsense, but it was funny to me. The silly stuff like... Papero popero pippity poppity poo <laughs> Yeah, that's silly, all right. Those two look like they're having fun. If you truly admired the fishies, you'd never dream of doing this to them. 
No matter how tasty the bait, it's a poor trade for a barbed hook in the lip and a cruel death in the unforgiving air. I don't admire fish. Fish exist to be caught and eaten, as far as I'm concerned. Can't argue there. Raw, boiled, or grilled with a little salt. You can't go wrong. Oh, <laughs> and if they're nothing but food to you, even their wretched squirms of agony can hold a kind of beauty. <laughs> hey, Eisen, how about a competition? Let's see who can catch the biggest fish. Don't be ridiculous. Fishing is a solitary battle. It's about meditation and self-control. Ooh, aren't you the philosophical one all of a sudden? <sighs> but I suppose. I can't deny I really want to put this rod to the test. Yeah, I know that feeling. Whenever I find a good sword, there's nothing I want to do more than to swing it. Sure enough. There's just something about good equipment that gets the blood pumping. Yeah. Although in my case, it's usually more like blood spurting. A bit too much blood either way, if you ask me. Listen, we're fishing no matter what. Wouldn't the competition be better for getting that blood of yours pumping? Fine. You're on. But we both know already how this is gonna end. <laughs> you can plan all the victory speeches you like, but fishing is like life. Doesn't always go the way you think it will. You ready? Let's do this. At what point did the Therian hunt turn into a contest? Hey, Velvet! I've got your rod all set up for you! This thing could even catch a whale if you wanted to. The rest is up to you. Now get out there and fish up a big one. A Therian, you mean. <sighs> Might as well give it a shot. It's not like anyone else remembers what we're here for. Oh! Something's pulling the line! Stay calm. Fishing isn't about strength, it's about timing. Oh, okay. Got it. Here it comes. You ready? <laughs> Damn right I am. I'll fillet it before it can even land. If it's a Therian, don't you dare kill it. Now! Heave! Well, what do you know? Neither a fish nor a Therian. Well, shoot. Can't eat that. Oh. It looks like it fit you, though, Laffy said. Why don't you try it on? I concur. Maybe it'll bring out his unique personality. My unique personality, huh? See? What did I tell you? It looks great on you, Laffy said. You... you really think so? Yeah! Brings out your special charm, kiddo. Come on. Back to Therian fishing. You don't need to take it so seriously. I have to catch the Therian. Maybe then Velvet will see me for who I am. Ugh. Not a bite. Oh, quit your grumbling. Who was it who said fishing doesn't always go how you think it will? <laughs> Spoken like a true heartless pirate. Oh, hey! I've got something! <sighs> Whoa, looks like I'm next. <sighs> Not a single decent catch. I think it's decent. Huh? Take half measures, do you, kid? Hmm? What's wrong, Laffy said? 
You look ridiculous. Take that off. Stop it! What do you know about me anyway? I... I know that looks silly on you. All you know is you're Lothy! Hey, Velvet! Something's pulling on your rod! Huh? Oh. It's a big one! Give it everything you've got! I know what I'm... doing! It's... It's a big one, all right, but... A pot. Yay. But what's a pot doing out here? There's something inside it. Stop making those noises. Watch out! They're armed to the squeak! And they're shouting, Let's squeak them! Rain! Get on the sleigh! I'm out! Come on! Come on! Come on! I'm a cushion! Come on! I'm killing Flash! But I'm just close! I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Be proud. You made me unleash my full power. That was scary. Be more careful before you approach a suspicious object. You think Luffy would have stayed back? That has nothing to do with this! Hold on. There's something else inside. Now we gotta fight the shambling dead? A zombo pot! A bunch of dead guys. They're awfully, uh, fleshy. Further support for the healthy octopus diet! Come on, really? An octopus army? A horde of undead? What the hell is this pot? Magnificent. To think I'd get to see one with my own eyes. Huh? Is there something special about this creepy old pot? <laughs> creepy, you say? That's why these things need to be left to the professionals. Listen and behold. This is none other than a water jug made by the potter Groon during King Clauden's reign. It was a legendary once-in-a-millennium masterpiece. But it was lost in the Second Warring States period 200 years ago. Assertive, yet not ostentatious, the piece draws you in with its stately curves and the subtle shimmer of its colors, which belie a hidden savagery. <sighs> Two lectures in one day? <sighs> yeah, he's talking gibberish, but that's men in general, I suppose. The lost glazing technique of the Orosaurin is so vibrant, it looks like it could start moving at any moment. Oh, and start moving it did. Look out! The pot's a demon! Whatever you guys do, make sure you don't smash it! So, can I slash it? That's even worse! Stop arguing and fight already! Fear three! You broke me! Here's your justice! Fight in order! Make sure to fight! Watch it! Hurricane! Alright, come on! No mercy! You thought I'd stop here? Annihilating? Die? Just 
It's finally decided to behave itself. Wait, Velvet! Don't eat it! It's a pot. I'm not gonna eat it. <sighs> I guess there weren't any Therians to be found here after all. Yeah, if there'd have been any, you'd think Ol' Aizen's Reaper curse would have drawn him out. Oh, so that's why all we caught today were weird, useless things. Right. I forgot about the curse. So all this was Aizen's fault, huh? Funny how quickly you get used to it. Oh, my power didn't end up helping us out at all. Nope. Hmm. But I know you're not the type to give up after a little setback. Isn't that right, Fee? Huh? Fee? It's your nickname. Not a whole lot of thought put into it, but... You're you. You're Fee. Velvet. Fee. I like it. It has personality. Thanks. Of course, if you still feel like giving up. No, I'm gonna find us the next Earth Pulse Point. Oh, hey. There's something else inside the pot. This golden luster, it's... It's Oracalcum! I get it now. This must be where that ship sank all those years ago. The one Kurogane told us about. Hell yeah! Kurogane might actually be able to make me an Oracalcum sword. Nice find, Aizen. You too, Lafayette. It wasn't easy, but we didn't come away empty-handed. And just getting a chance to fish again was lots of fun. Yeah, I had a really good time too. Even I was entertained. Especially your little costume show, kiddo. The sun's going down soon. Let's head back to Titania. <laughs>